here's an update video on all the seedlings that I have growing. In this six pack, I planted early girl tomatoes. I put two in each square, and this is what I've got. Two, four, is that four? No, two, four, six, eight, ten tomatoes, it looks like there. And then these are the sugar baby watermelons. I got three in this one, two in that one, one there, and a looks like a Cherokee black creme tomato got in there. Oh, I mean Cherokee black tomato. So all these are Cherokee black tomatoes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, a lot in there. And then as well as sprouted up, over here, a lot of my sugar snap peas are in full bloom, looking beautiful, and they're so tasty. I'm ready to plant them out soon and put them, um, trellis them up tomato cages. And over here, I have more early girls. All of these seedlings came. I'm going to thin them out and prick them into larger containers. So they aren't going to stay in there for very long. I'll prick them out individually and keep the strongest ones with the, see how they have the four leaves? That means they're ready to be pricked out. These over here are the crim, black crim tomatoes. As well, over here we have some fennel growing in with the sugar snap peas. And all of these are sugar snap peas with the exception of one snow pea over here. Then I have these beautiful bloomed out tulips that are just gorgeous. They just blossomed recently with the hot weather. Today we have a lot of cloud and wind and a little bit of a drizzle. So probably not the best day to plant them out. I'm gonna do them early in the morning or in the evening. It's the best time to plant your seedlings. And then I have some succulents growing larger in this window of the sunroom. They're doing a lot better in here. And then I have one, I don't know if you can see it, little yellow dragon fruit growing from seed. It's doing pretty good, actually. Let's see if we can take a peek at it. Yeah, it's growing quite well in this little greenhouse setup I have. Just a Ziploc bag inside this tiny pot that I had a pepperom pepperomia in. And this tiny yellow dragon fruit seed came from a store-bought dragon fruit that I purchased at um, Sprouts. So that took very well. And then there's some more also inside this little bag. I don't know if you can see them that well. There's some cactus in there as well. There's dragon fruit. There's a lot more in this one. Okay. And we have a little avocado here too. So everything seems to be doing well. There's, oh, a Thai coming up. These Thai chilies I forgot to mention. Have a few of them coming up here and this is in the seedling mixture they do a lot better in seedling mixture and some more Cherokee tomatoes here and zucchini oh no cucumbers and here's some more cucumbers they're getting a bit big for these pots so I'm gonna have to transplant them out and it looks like some either radish or beet can't remember which one I planted there exactly. Looks like there might be some arugula in there as well. And then some more Cherokee tomato. The large Cherokee tomatoes. And there's a cucumber in there as well. It's not, it looks too wet so the leaves are curled. So just want to let these dry out a little bit more. Okay, but other than that everything is doing really really well. They're growing strong and robust, and they did well. And this this is just um, all natural organic planting soil, potting soil for pots, and it has a lot of wood chips in it. But these seeds managed to 
pop right through those wood chips. So you can plant your seeds in just regular potting soil. It is a possibility. I was just experimenting with it. And then they do actually exceptionally well in the seed starting mix, which is these two. And this one is seed starting, as well as these two. I'm planting more, um, more delicate seeds in those. This is a Thai chili that grew through the seed starting mix. And all of these really pretty um, sugar snap peas, as well as some fennel in there. I'm gonna have to prick out, separate them out. Um, tons and tons. Oh no, these are cilantro actually. You can see the seeds on top. So that's my mistake. This is a whole pot of cilantro. I had last year cherry tomatoes in there, but I didn't take the tag out, so that's why I got confused. But those are definitely cilantro. You can see the seed right on top of the plant there. And then my favorite sugar snap peas. I just love sugar snap peas fresh and tomatoes fresh from the garden and cucumbers. Just the best plants to grow in your garden for sure. And chili plants. And these are definitely all tomato plants because you can see the true leaves coming through right there. And then I have one plant here. I'm not exactly sure. I think it is a cucumber, but I'm not exactly sure what kind of cucumber, but this is ready to be planted out as well. And these were all planted in mid-February. So around Valentine's Day, I always try to plant some. And some of them were later in February 28th. That one looks like a Valentine's one. So we have all different kinds of plants in here from seedlings and these are from bulbs and there's some succulents in here too mixed in there's another succulent and some other succulents as well as avocado and we have some other really pretty succulents growing here they just love this full heat from the window and we have some ivy also growing in here, which is very easy to grow. Beautiful variegated ivy. It's a treat to have in your kitchen. And some more succulent here, a rosette, the chuvarias. And I have some other succulents and flapjack succulent growing here. It got a little frost damage, so I had to bring it inside from the greenhouse. All of these do much better in the sunroom. And this guy's going to grow a lot bigger. The rabbits nibbled him down so accidentally. Some of these got frozen. It was looking a lot different earlier in the winter. Some of them got nibbled down or frozen in the greenhouse. So all of them should stay in the sunroom. As far as succulents go, they don't like the frost at all. There's the pearl. And another rosette. Rose Echeveria. And then I planted some more fennel in here in this pot. And this is the moringa tree that I trimmed back. So that's that. So there's a little strawberry in there. And some lamb's ear. And then here, this is the most fantastic Australian finger lime tree. And oh, you can see the little finger lime there. You see that? Wow, we actually grew one. And there's buds all over it. So it did really well. We went on vacation. By the time I got back, all of these flowers were consuming the plant. It just, it's amazing to look at and see the change. We left for three days and came back and it's a completely different um, tree. So it definitely loves the warmth in the winter. It's also from Australia, so I don't think they get much frost, if any, in Australia. So we'd have to kind of baby this plant a little bit, probably put it in a pot and keep it in the sunroom over the winter. Here, even in the Bay Area, it gets chilly. Look at, there's just buds all over this plant. Oh my gosh, if we grow this many, that will be amazing. So 
so let's see what happens I'll keep you posted and find out how many here how many finger limes are actually going to grow and we also have some more tulips here that I need to plant out in the front yard and then I have some more green beans that are growing very successfully and I still have a jalapeno here from last summer so it's been changing colors it's been fun to watch it grow and then here we have this these are the Madagascar jasmine that has been growing big and strong this whole winter inside the sunroom it's so tall if you just look at the height it's already as tall almost as tall as my shoulder so it's a vine jasmine vine but it does not do well in the cold so I'm not sure I'm entirely gonna keep it in the sunroom as well and watch the production of this vine as it grows and then we also have raspberries I need to plant this in a pot it's just in the bag right now this is the jewel black raspberry there's some growth on it right there I'm not sure about this coloring I'm gonna trim it back I think but I just put it right in the seed starter mix which is really good organic soil medium to use just look at all those bloom or buds so many flower buds on this Australian finger lame I'm very optimistic this plant is gonna do well so I'll keep you posted on this and how it's doing and look at all of them blooming oh my goodness this is too exciting I'm gonna have to put it out in the Sun tomorrow I know it loves it thrives in the heat the hotter it is the better it is full of thorny th thorns so there's the spines just everywhere so if you're not you know particularly keen on that you probably um, would have to keep this in a larger pot where you won't be pricked by a thorn look at that so beautiful Looks like we're gonna get some finger limes to try. And they, the finger lime, Australian finger lime is really amazing because of the way when you cut it open, the pearls just pour out like caviar. And they have a really nice texture to it on top of a garnish of any kind, salad or fish, or any kind of garnish you wanna put a lime zest to. This is the plant you wanna use for that garnishy. Really great culinary plant to have. Um, as well as the kefir lime citrus um, I'll keep you updated on more as we grow and the more production and growth that these guys you know perform for us and then I'll show you before I plant them out what soil medium I'm going to use to grow them in the raised beds and how I'm going to arrange them. The sugar snap peas, I have so many, and they don't transplant well, but I'm going to go ahead and try, and I'm gonna put them around, I'll probably just keep them in those bunches that they're growing in, or try to separate gently with toothpicks or um, chopsticks, and put them inside a very loose seed starting mix with some compost mixed in that, in a size of raised bed with um, circling around a uh, tomato tomato trellis so tomato cage for those and then we'll see how they do and then I'll go ahead and let you know about the new plants I'm going to be planting in here in this loose loose seed starting mix I'm going to be planting some delicate probably eggplant or okra seeds because now's the time um, I don't have too much longer Till we're gonna need to put these all in the ground so I'm excited and I'm looking forward to a lot more plants to come okay thanks for watching and have 
good luck in your garden and have a wonderful joyous time planting out your seeds because this is the most exciting part for me is just getting all the seedlings ready and oh look at this this is a special tulip with variegated leaves I don't know the color of this one. I'm thinking it might be white, but I'm not sure. Really pretty. And I'll let you more. I'll, I'll let you know more as they grow. I'll definitely video as much as I can, as well as all the fruit trees in the garden that are growing. So many blossoms everywhere. So the blossoms are falling because of all the wind. But I'll keep you updated and show you what else is growing in our garden as the time um, to plant out starts to begin. Okay, thanks for watching and happy gardening from our garden to yours. Good luck in your garden and share your garden with us as well so we can see your progress and the growth that you have in your garden. Happy gardening, bye.